Okay, there's the app on my iPhone from the Victron monitor. It shows that the drive up here topped off the battery to 100%. We're at 13.9 volts. We're currently drawing a negative 0.12 amps. And what that is, is the heater and the fan, they both have circuit boards in them, so they will draw a little bit of current. And, of course, the uh, electronics on the charger will draw a little bit as well. So, we'll see how this does overnight and get back to you. All right, check this out. We're only at 97%. It only used 3%, and we ran the diesel heater all night, 8 hours. It uses right at 0 0.6 amps to run the heater uh, when it's just maintaining the temperature. And now the sun has just come up over the horizon. It's not even hitting the solar panels yet, but we're still getting a little bit from it. Currently, we're using... 0 0.3 amps and as soon as that solar hits the uh, the, the sun hits the solar panels it's going to shoot right up and start actually putting energy back into the batteries even with the uh, heater running so this has turned out great i'm really stoked over this system this victron monitor is absolutely great all right i will keep checking in and explaining this stuff the best that I can to you guys but this first little test has really worked out well um, these lithium batteries and solar panels and uh, the ability to charge it off of the alternator when you're running down the road all of this is really gonna work well all right here's just a sneak peek at the electrical system it's not complete yet and I will be doing videos to explain it the best that I can in the future but that's just a quick look at it well here's another update the Sun has just started hitting the solar panels and now we are actually at a net gain of 1.4 amps so even with the diesel heater sitting here running I'm still putting almost one and a half amps into the battery and that's with the sun just, uh, you know, it's still low in the horizon. So, I keep saying this, but this system is going to work great. It's just a little bit more information, and it's what you need to tweak the system to get what you want and what you need. Our next real big test will be when we get the uh, refrigerator freezer in here and see how much power consumption that bad boy is going to use. Alrighty. Well, thanks for uh, coming along with us on this little test journey. We'll see you on the next one. Later.